every bit of the watch. I know it's it's a little over an hour and a half, but it's worth it. Yeah, we were, that was another thing we were worried about, the, the length of it a little bit, because we went back and forth with that. It's about an hour and 40, 46, 40, well, probably about an hour and 45 with the credits, because there's stuff that, I don't want to give anything away, but runs with the credits that kind of make you keep watching. But and I think the running time is an hour and 48 all together, which is long for a, you know, for a comedy, but it, it again, it falls in the category of a dark comedy drama too. So it, it, the running time, no, no one's mentioned the running time being a problem. We always thought, oh man, it's a little long, but we kept it and I'm thrilled, dude. You know, I just want this thing to do what it's going to do. And I'm just, I stand behind it. I'm proud of it. And I know he's proud of it and everybody, and you know, I gotta give a shout out to everybody in the film because <clears throat> everybody in the film did a great job. They really did. They all carried their own from, you know, the smaller parts to people uh, playing, you know, opposite to me, my buddy Johnny Dowers, uh, my buddy Dusty, who plays Wally. Uh, everybody, you know, Casey did such a great job. Car- Caroline did a great job. Jennifer Collins. Everybody that did a really, really, really great job. Um, so there was my buddy Bradley. I want to make sure I don't leave anybody out because they all did such a great job. Trent, they did fantastic. And that's just without their talent and their capabilities of actually you know meeting me there we wouldn't have the film we do because everybody really was funny and 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 held their own so i'm very proud of everyone in the movie we're gonna go ahead and play the trailer of starfucker is there anything that we should know before we play this or do you just want to go right into it um well i think you have the censored version i think I'm not sure what version I'm, you I'm have pulling it. it off of your, I just commented and liked, uh, I'm pulling it from your YouTube. Oh, that, yeah, okay. So that one was just, yeah, the Vimeo one was the official one. Uh, the YouTube one. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that's, it's censored. Yeah. I put a censor because you know, it's, you, you can't have the F bombs or this or that in, in the actual trailer, uh, and have people, you know, it, it kind of <laughs> limit, it kind of limits yeah. your viewership that way. So, you know, we, we, we blanked out most of it. No, oh no, no, I don't have anything to say. I mean, I think that it's, I think it's a cool trailer. I think the movie's cooler, but yeah. Well, you know what? Go, we're going to go ahead. I'm, we're going to try to find the Vimeo version just real quick, but tell us about the guy who played your brother. Cause honestly, he, uh, for myself, I felt that he gave more of that hangover type of vibe feel right. to the film. Great. Well, his name's Johnny Dowers. A uh, very, very close friend of mine. This is, um, my second or third movie with Johnny. Johnny's great. Johnny is a really talented actor, actually. Um, really diverse actor. Uh, and initially, it's funny, he played actually the sheriff, the lead sheriff in my Texas Heart movie and does a killer job in it. So if anybody uh, uh, likes our fucker, likes Johnny, go check him out, us out in Texas Heart as well. But yeah, he's... He's just a really, he's a comedy riffing guy, dude. He can just like ad lib the hell out of shit and just keeps going. Mm. And like that shit's not written. I mean, the stuff that's written, yeah, that's set. But he just keeps going and they just let him keep going because I'm like, I even tell a camera, I'm like, yo, keep going. Because he's just, it, it, some of that stuff is gold for the film. And and uh, yeah, he did a, he did a stand of it when he's in, uh, when, when they're, he's in the hospital. And in part, a scene when he's doing whatever he's doing uh because i don't want to give it anything away but that was all ad-libbed when he started talking about what they're gonna do with it and it's just like we were just dying he actually went on another like five minutes but obviously we had to cut it at a certain point yeah he's great i highly recommend johnny in life <laughs> he's a he makes me smile and, he, and he's just good he's a good he's a good person and a good dad and he's uh he's all around just a fucking great guy you two do very well together. And I encourage both of you to be in some more projects, even if it's a mini, mini series or something. I love it. Oh, yeah, no, we, we definitely, yeah. yeah, no, we definitely are going to, um, Johnny and I, we talk a lot. So, you know, you know, I, again, putting this thing together over the years, you know, he has very good insight on you know, filmmaking in general as, you know, a writer, actor, and, and a director. So, you know, if I got the the okay from him and then he was proud of the project and I know that we did a great job because he's very, very, very picky. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually how I know that we ended up having a, a, a really good project was the people and even you, Steve, because I know that you are very picky when it comes to certain things. I, I, I take your word 
you know, 100% when you say things because there are certain people that I know throughout my career, my life that I've met, that I'm like, okay, if they like it, then I know we did what we were supposed to do. And I'm the same way. I mean, I look into everything. And and if and if it captures my attention on any level that really raises my eyebrow or just gets me to think, those are the projects that I really, you know, I give credit to. But Johnny's great, man. He 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 said but you guys you guys did it, man. So, you know, I I take his word of face value and and uh yeah, I have nothing but positive things to say about Johnny. We're gonna guy. He is. We're going to go ahead and play the trailer. And uh, I'm excited for you. I'm really excited Thank to you, see buddy. where this is going to go. And here's the thing. And it's even known in the music industry. Your movie will never be old because even five or ten years from now, Eric, when someone watches it, it's going to be just like the first time if they were to have heard that that day was the day that the film was launched. So it's going to always be brand new to new viewers. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 And I, and, it's, and I think it stays uh, relevant with times um, that we, we were very, very particular on how we did it. That's why it took so long, but yeah, I think so. And I'm, I'm, I'm again, I'm just thrilled people are liking it. The people have seen it so far. I'm, you know, um, I, you know, I, they've, they've, they've really, and these are people that, even the older viewers, I mean, a lot of these people are in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, even 60s that are, are, are really enjoying it. I, I, I thought we would definitely would have lost people in their 50s and 60s. I thought that would have just been too much for them. But I think it, they were saying it's fresh and it's something that needed to be done. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm happy that people were relating to it.